Anyang in central China's Henan Province is located at the junction of the provinces of Shanxi, Hebei and Henan. Known as the Central Plains in history, Anyang is one of the birthplaces of the Chinese nation. The archaeological site of Yin Shu, close to Anyang City, was famous for excavating oracle bone inscriptions in the early 20th century. The rich cultural remains unearthed here, represented by oracle bones and bronzes, have comprehensively and systematically shown the features of the capital of the Sharn dynasty of China 3,300 years ago. Yin Shu has been confirmed by historic documents, oracle bone inscriptions and archaeological excavations as the first site of a capital in Chinese history. Yangshu Once a prosperous capital city, the archaeological remains of Yin Shu comprise sites of palaces and ancestral shrines, and royal tombs within the property boundary and the unexcavated Huan Bei Sharn city site within the buffer zone. Among the cultural relics unearthed over the years, bronzes, jade articles, oracle bone inscriptions, and chariots and horses pits have long been world-renowned. Through cultural relics and historical sites, People can understand the social organization, production, life, culture and art of the late Sharn dynasty. Anyang Yin Xu, his discovery, completely changed the people of Chinese history and culture. It is the truth of Chinese history. It is the time of the Shang Chinese period. Oracle bone inscriptions in Yin Shu are the earliest known and systematic characters in China, and are one of the four ancient characters in the world. About 160,000 pieces of oracle bone inscriptions have been unearthed in Yin Shu, and about 4,500 single characters have been found. At present, about 1,500 of these characters are deciphered, and characters evolved from them are still used by the Chinese. Exquisite bronzes represented by Si Mu Wu Square Cauldron were also unearthed in Yin Shu, representing the zenith of Chinese bronze culture. Besides, the Sharn tomb of Fu Hao, the first female general in China, and the earliest remains of chariots and horses in China were also found here. In 2006, Yin Shu was inscribed on the UNESCO World Cultural Heritage List. According to the evaluation given by the World Heritage Committee, Yin Shu has been confirmed by historic documents, oracle bone inscriptions and archaeological excavations as the first site of a capital in Chinese history. Yin Shui is rich in cultural connotations, with a large-scale and rigorous layout of palace and ancestral temple sites. The royal tomb area of Yin Shu is the earliest large-scale royal graveyard in China. The material remains discovered in Yin Shu provide tangible evidence of the early history of the system of Chinese writing and language, ancient beliefs, social systems, and major historical events. Yin Shu culture had a far-reaching impact on the formation and development of Chinese culture, and played a key role in promoting the spread and development of Chinese civilization.